The Honourable Member for Dermot North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community Services. The Minister may be aware that Spring Hill High School in Cumberland County has started a food bank in the school. I can table that. A food bank for high school students who cannot afford enough to eat. That's the kind of Nova Scotia this short-sighted budget supports. So, Mr. Speaker, before the Minister repeats her talking points about the promise of transformation and the small steps she wants Nova Scotians to accept as good enough, I want to know, will the Minister of Community Services admit that this budget is leaving children hungry? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question, and I want to thank those students at Spring Hill who are thinking about their fellow citizens, their fellow students, Mr. Speaker, who may not have enough to eat. Mr. Speaker, as the honourable member will know, we are rolling out a breakfast program across this entire program, uh, uh, across this entire province, Mr. Speaker, because a, a breakfast program, while it helps students learn, Mr. Speaker, it's also an anti-poverty program because, in fact, Mr. Speaker, it removes the necessity for parents to provide breakfast to their children. And, and Mr. Speaker, there are lots of other things that we are doing as well, which I'll be happy to answer in my second uh, question. Thank the you. Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, Nick, Jenner, Nick Jennery is the Executive Director of Feed Nova Scotia. He knows a lot about food banks and the many Nova Scotians who rely on them because income assistance rates are too low. He wrote this week, what we didn't see in the budget was an immediate hike in income assistance rates so individuals can access adequate food and shelter. The Department of Community Services has said it's coming, but we hoped government would give it the priority that's urgently needed to make it happen sooner. This is heartbreaking for thousands of Nova Scotians who will wake up hungry tomorrow. Does the minister find it acceptable that thousands of Nova Scotians will regularly go hungry while they wait another year for this government to raise the rates? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question, and as she is well aware, we are in fact removing uh, the, the, um, the calculation of maintenance uh, payments to income assistance rates, Mr. Speaker, which is roughly a $270 uh, increase to income assistance for families uh, who uh, receive maintenance, Mr. Speaker. So that's a big change, Mr. Speaker. As well, we've also um, we will be introducing a new wage exemption program, Mr. Speaker, which will allow people who are on income assistance to earn more money, Mr. Speaker, to keep more of the money they earn, Mr. Speaker. We do believe we've increased the basic personal exemption. We've, allowed, we've doubled the allowable asset, uh, assets, Mr. Speaker. We have made a number of improvements, Mr. Speaker, and we're not going to stop there. Thank you. Yep.